Get the hell out of my life! Who needs you? Beat it, leave me alone! The deplorable state of Wear OS is one of the main reasons that I haven't been using a Wear OS watch in spite of the fact that I daily drive Android. But I'm hoping that this unboxing, sponsored by Mobvoi for their Tick Watch E3, is going to help me turn the corner here because there's a lot of things that are looking up right now. I mean, first and foremost is obviously Google's acquisition of Fitbit, which should give Google a big shove in the right direction in terms of development. One of the other big things that's happened is we're finally getting some better hardware. So this watch right here, the Tick Watch E3, is actually only the second on the market to use the Snapdragon Wear 4100. That processor is a dramatic improvement over the previous 3100, going all the way from a 28 nanometer manufacturing process down to just 12. So everything from CPU to GPU to connectivity is multiple generations of improvement better. I mean, we're going from Bluetooth 4.2 to Bluetooth 5.0. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. The main highlights from Mobvoi before we actually fire it up are that, of course, it's using the Snapdragon Wear 4100 processor. It's got a 2.5D curved display. It's IP68 water resistant. Uh, they actually asked me to clarify that IP68 means fresh water, not salt water. And that's true, not just of this watch, that's anything that has a water resistance rating. You know, you go and put any electronics in a conductive liquid, you're gonna have a pretty bad time. It's got 20 plus professional workout modes with their tick motion technology, and it's got 24 seven heart tracking, blood oxygen saturation monitoring, stress and sleep tracking, and VO2 max tracking during runs. So basically that means that it's gonna check your maximum rate of oxygen consumption while you're working out. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. You've got your do not eat. You've got your quick start guide. You've got your, ah, yes, okay. So they're using a magnetic attaching <clears throat> uh, charging cable. I mean, obviously with any kind of watch, you don't want a USB cable. So it's uh, got magnetic action like that. I think that passes the easy to attach test. Uh, okay, let's try and turn it on now. Oh, whoops. I started it up in the diagnostic. Uh, whoopsie daisies. Oh wow, product name Rice Fish. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You hold both buttons if you wanna bring up that menu. Hey, there we go, all right. Now obviously, compared to their own TickWatch Pro 3, there are a couple sacrifices that had to be made in order to hit this aggressive price point while still keeping the specs very compelling. So it does have a plastic housing, and obviously with that comes a smaller display, but Guys, specs are important in something like this. Like, look how fluid that scrolling is. If that's the sacrifice they had to make, this thing is 199 US. That is so much smoother than any other Android Wear or Wear OS experience that I've had. It actually feels smooth. Finally, right? Okay, there we go. Welcome to Wear OS. I have to confess, it's actually been a little while. There's your voice interaction. All right, there's your quick settings. There's your activity, weather, blur that. Uh, it's calendar events. <laughs> Unable to detect heart rate, please authorize heart sensor. Oh, okay, well we can do that, sure. Okay, let's find out what my heart rate is. 79 beats per minute. Is that good? I don't know. Okay, so you can swipe up to remove tiles, you can add tiles, like simple calculator. Uh, timer, bunch of workout stuff, voice memo. Oh, that's a nice simple watch face. Cool, hey, my battery life's pretty nice. Uh, it's a 380 milliamp hour battery. Man, that is just so much more responsive than the old processors. Oh, let's see what happens if I click on a Trello thing. Uh, yes, no reply, open on phone. I don't think so. There we go. All right, cool. Supposed to review some thumbnails. All right. Now, one of the first things that I'm gonna adjust with any smartwatch is always on display. So it does support always on display, which means I just need to go find it because it doesn't seem to be enabled by default. Whoops, so settings, display. Haha, right there. Front and center, always on screen, and done. Yay! All right, so let's see what the always on display looks like now. There we go. 
Perfect. A watch that actually works as a watch. That's absolutely critical. Hey Colton, text me. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna pretend to be popular and like I get messages. Hey, hi, I'm a big fan. Hi, is this Colton Potter? Never f call this number again. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Love you, Colton. Now let's try using Google Assistant with the E3. Okay, Google, set an alarm for 5.30 p.m. on Friday to fire Colton. Sorry, I can't set alarms on your phone more than 24 hours before they're supposed to go off. Uh, oh my God, I have a system update that it just started doing. While the watch was updating, I had some time to think and there's something I've got to make right here. I'm calling Colton back. Hey, I'm sorry, babe, I didn't mean that. I think they're excellent finger paintings. Please don't go. <laughs> Fine, get the hell out of my life. Who needs you? Beat it, leave me alone. Uh, there's a couple other things I wanted to show. I wanna to go to the Play Store. Apparently there's like a zombie game you can play on this thing. Zombies run free. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Oh wait, this is like, you run away from the zombies. <laughs> like you have to actually run. Uh, I don't know if I wanna actually run like that. While I wait for this zombie game to install, it uses standard watch strap like posts. So all you do is take your stock one off and then you can, what is this? Did someone just like give me their watch strap? Is this yours, Colton? Oh, just show the weapon. What? No, it's fine. I'm just, the point is that you can put a standard watch strap on it, right? So you've got this grubby old watch strap. Thanks, Colton. I'm probably gonna get like germs from it. Oh, nope. Yours is a little bit wider. Well, that's the first time he's ever heard that before. Got him. Well, this is funny. I had wanted to show you guys the interchangeable watch straps. They just use standard 20 mil watch straps. And, but these are not 20 millimeter. These are like 22 millimeter, 24 millimeter, something like that. So see you later. Exercise time, ladies and gentlemen. TickWatch's app has all your, I mean, presumably historical sleep, heart rate, blood oxygen, stress data, and then if you click exercise and go to all exercises, you can pick one. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with Taekwondo. Wait, how do I start it? Oh, I figured it out. Obviously you start the exercise on the watch. This is just the log. And I was having a hard time figuring out what I was looking at because uh, Tick Watch, a little bit of honest feedback. These should be in alphabetical order, please. H, I, J, yeah, no, they're just in, no order in particular, I guess. Okay, apparently we're doing jumping jack. Hey, look at that, they've even got a thing for it. All right, we're going. Ah! Hey Colton, it's called a jumping jack. You ever try one? Oh no, I tried one and then I quit. He does a lot of reps of like food to the mouth, you know? Uh, oh, ah. Okay, is that a minute? It's 59 seconds, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, <laughs> high intensity interval training, here we go. 126, nothing abnormal today. That's what I peaked at though. Sweet, it's my heart rate. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the Tick Watch E3, Snapdragon 4100, 200 bucks. Guys, you can find it at the link in the video description. Thanks again to Mobvoi for sponsoring this video and we'll see you later. Make sure you subscribe to Short Circuit. Call my number whenever you want.